Welcome to episode 11 of the Bolton Wonders Road to Glory series here on FIFA 17. It was a wild one to finish off last episode. Seven goals in the match versus Millwall. We did come away with the victory. This episode, we're going to have three away matches. We'll start off in the league versus Northampton. Then we'll head into December and you can see the fixture congestion that's coming. We have our first FA Cup match versus Oxford United, and then we'll have a check a trade trophy away at Coventry City. But let's go ahead and get into the game versus Northampton. So on the road to Northampton Town we'll go. Freshly promoted from League Two this season, and I believe Shaquille O'Neal is like a minority owner or poter owner of the club. They sit 15th, so bottom half of the table or so. They're going to come out in a 4-2-3-1 as you take a look at the starting at 11. Uh, nobody I really recognize from their squad. Strong lineup for us. Maydean, Emiomi, Harrison, Henry, Spearing, Vela, Moxie, Beavers, Derek, Buxton, and Howard. Take the opening kickoff here. Spearing. Has Amiobi. Has Moxie out wide. Gives that back to Spearing. Spearing plays it through for Henry. Henry on the top of the box. He fires a shot with his left foot. Nowhere near target. But the first opportunity of the game coming just three minutes in. James Henry sends it wide for goal kick. Taylor lined up over this. He fires it off Harrison. Good, well blocked by the wall. That's going to go out for a corner. As it just off the side of the face of the young Bolton. That's sent in to Zakuani and his hitters. Wide out for a goal kick. Taylor lines up over this. Sends that in, and it sails over the bar. That's going to be a goal kick. Ten minutes in the second half. Not a lot of action here so far. But that is just high and wide. Anderson back to Maloney. Poked away by Spearing. Picked up by Byram to Dath. Buchanan on the edge of the box. Harrison's there, and he's going to dribble it out of bounds. It's going to be a corner here. About a half hour remaining. That's going to be whipped in and to Maloney, and he gets a great header on it. Nobody in front of him. And he heads it down to the far corner. Northampton Town taking a 1-0 lead with a half hour remaining here. We're going to have to dig to find a goal. We haven't had many opportunities so far. So Amy Obi will send that out to Harrison. To Maydean. He turns well. Gives it to Amy Obi. Amy Obi slides it back through for Gary Maydean. Can he get a goal? Oh, it's on his left foot and he sends it sailing from six yards out. Here, Samazeta takes it short, plays out on to Vela, to Moxie. Moxie turns into the box. Moxie has a shot, and it deflects off. I believe that was May Dean. Keeper has it. He's going to send that towards midfield. Spearing slides it through for May Dean. Turns it back inside. Has Harrison. Gives it to Spearing. Spearing, he hits the post, and Gary Maydean is there for the rebound. It's been a while since he scored. But as he does in style, as we get to the added time, three minutes on, Gary Maydean there to poach away a rebound, picking up goal number nine on the league season. And that puts it 1-1 as time's expiring. So 
so a point it will be on the road. 1-1 one, one, the final score. Maydeen picking up the equalizer there at the end of the game. Game was pretty even overall. He gets an 8.2 rating, good enough for man of the match. And Spearing picks up the assist. Well, it's action from but we'll head FA to Cup, FA Cup Cup action. Our first match here on the road at Oxford United. We beat them 1-0 earlier in the season. But uh, this FA Cup is important for us as we need to finish, I believe it's the round of 32 to meet that objective. We're gonna run out our best lineup we can as this game is quite important. Scotters. Run out of room there, drops that back to Nelson. He pushes it up the line to Johnson. To Thomas. Lundstrom. Bella gives him pressure. It goes to Zach Klo. He pushes that forward for Gary Maydean. Klo continues his run and he's going to fire it into the back of the net. I've inserted him into the starting lineup now that he's back from injury. And he's made the difference here 12 minutes in. As a little give and go with Gary Maydean, he buries it into the back of the net. And I actually, it's not Klo, it's Cloth. So I'll try to remember that and pronounce it correctly. Howard rolls that out to Moxie. Moxie has Amiobi in front, turns that back into Spearing. To Klo. Klo comes back to set up the play here, gives it to Vela. Vela has made Dean. Turns it upfield. Back to Vela, to Spearing. Trying to get everybody involved. Spearing goes around the defender there. He's taken down on the edge of the box and close taken down in the air. We're gonna get a penalty here 20 minutes in. It's back-to-back -back fouls. We'll definitely take the penalty though. Maydean steps up. He's missed a couple of these. Keeper doesn't even move. Two nothing, 21 minutes in. Plays the ball forward for Maydean. Holds it up. Plays that back to Klo. Klo's going to slide this through for Spearing. Spearing with a shot. And Eastwood with a big boot save. And that's going to go out for a throw. Throw forward for Spearing. Rivero takes it away. Hall. No call there on Moxie. He's going to give it to Vela. Vela. Forward for Harrison. He's going to give it to Klo. Klo fires a shot at Eastwood with a big save. That's out for a corner here. Half hour in. It's been all Bolton. Easily before nothing. Taylor. Over to Thomas. Plays the ball through. Derek can't hold on to it. Taylor gets it back. Oxford looking to draw one back here before halftime. Hall's going to send in a cross early. Beavers heads that as far as Sircone. Sircone into the area. He's going to have a shot. And wow, just over the bar. I think Howard made an attempt for it. But he pulls down the hands as he realizes it's sailing over. Moxie will throw that back to Spearing. Inside to Vela. Vela pushes it on to Buxton. He's got Souza. Souza on the edge of the area. Turns it back inside. Gives it to Buxton. It's not clear, but he gives it back to Souza. And he buries it into the back of the net. 3 nothing. 10 minutes remaining. Our future star just keeps scoring. I believe overall his third of the season. But that should put this game out of reach and will advance to the next round of the FA Cup. 
hopefully meeting the objective. Moxie has Amiobi in front of him. Oh, gets around the defender there. He's going to lay that off for Henry. Henry saved by Eastwood. It goes out to Rivero. Keeping the pressure on here. Ball sends across the top. That's going to fall to Nelson. Can he get one back? No. Howard comes up with a huge save. That's going to be a corner here. Three minutes added on to the game. Nelson with the opportunity to pull one back for Oxford, but Howard comes up with a huge save. So Lundstrom will serve this in. Beavers is there to head it away. Nobody back for Oxford. Suze is going to run onto this. He's going to give it to Henry. Henry one on one with the keeper. Four nothing. Bolton. It's a blowout here. Definitely moving on to the next round of the FA Cup. Which I believe, if we win that one, we'll reach the round of 32, which will meet that objective. And we basically, we need to meet the rest of the objectives for the season to stay in good standing with the squad. Four nothing at Oxford. We continue on in this cup as we'll go on to a cup matchup in the next match to see how we do there. Completely one-sided, seven shots, all seven on target. Zach Clough gets men of the match with a 9.3 rating. Of course, he is along with three others, pick up a goal. And I believe it was four different people with assist. So to finish up the episode, match number three on the road, Coventry City. 2-0 victory in the league over them earlier in the season. Of course, they run a strange 5-2-3 formation as you take a look at their starting 11. This is the area semi-final. I will put in the uh, cup rotation squad. I'm giving Jaskalainen a starting goal. Weeder gives that to Thompson, pushes that on to Souza, cuts it inside. Souza drops that off. Thompson with a left footed shot and just a poor, poor effort there. I may need to look. I think he's right footed, but I thought he had a, a pretty decent weak foot. I guess not. So Cook will send this to midfield. Over the head of everybody, falls to Weeder. Weeder plays that out for Souza. To Alashe. Thorpe. Taylor gives that to Proctor. Proctor slides it through for Thompson. Thompson on the edge of the area. Cuts it back, gives that to Proctor. Proctor, he's gonna fire a shot that was well blocked. We are gonna get a corner out of this. 12 minutes in. Two opportunities missed. Thorpe out to Taylor. Gives that to Proctor. Proctor goes back to Taylor. Overlapping run by Taylor. Taylor turns it inside, gives it to Taylor. Drops that back to Thompson and he fires another one with his left foot. Same result. So nil-nil at half. Coventry will get the first opportunity here of the second half as Rose gives that to Jones. Jones now, tread a little deep, plays that into Gazdev, back to Rose, across to Reed. Reed with the first opportunity of the second half, and that sails off into the crowd. Cook sends this long. Dervit gives that to Alashe. Out wide for Souza. Tries to slide a ball through for. Is that? 
Jones to Page. Five minutes remaining here. Played forward for Anderson. Not a lot of opportunity so far. Proctor's going to play this out wide for Anderson. and maybe a chance here. Anderson on the edge of the area. He's going to send it in to Proctor. Proctor sets it up on the edge of the area, and he just sends it over the bar. Probably the closest opportunity of the game so far. We still haven't been able to put an opportunity really on, on net. So Cook will send this. Headed on to Page. Gives it to Reed. Back to Page. Wilson steps in and gives it to Prattley. Taken away by Jones to Arias. Back out to Jones. He's going to send a cross in early. It's going to be kept in by Reed. Reed drops that back to McCann. McCann on the edge of the area. Wilson pops it up, and it's off the post, and Page puts it in the goal. Unbelievable. Three minutes added on here, but it's not going to matter. Coventry take a 1-0 lead on only, like, their second shot of the game. Well, third shot of the game because the one hit off the bar right before it that gives the rebound to Page. And that is most likely gonna be the winner. So a one nothing defeat at Coventry knocks us out of the check -a trade trophy. We did make it to the area semifinal. Um, I, I mean, at least we got a chance to play a bunch of the youngsters, got them some, uh, some experience. But there you see, pretty equal on shots. We only got the one on target. Taylor, the left back, gets men of the match with an 8.0 rating. Of course, no goals or no assist. But that it will be all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.